Hi everyone, welcome to another video. I'm Cassie. I'm Amy. And I'm Justine. And we're gonna to talk to you about a few different things today. First, we're gonna show you what we made over the summer. We had talked about this in a previous video, our like spring summer sewing plans. We're gonna see how many of those we got to, or what, <laughs> what of them we got to. And then after we're gonna talk about our fall sewing plans, which I think we are all very excited about. So why don't we start with Amy? Oh. And you can show us what you made. Okie doke. Well, show us the to, receipts. to your point, <laughs> best laid plans, as it were. Um, my, I, I'm trying to remember what I said I was going to do. A bathing suit. <laughs> uh, um, a dress. A dress and a pair of pants, I yeah. believe, was on my list. Yeah. Um, one of those things happened. Yay. Twice. Yeah. <laughs> I, had a, I had a busy summer, to be fair. Um, I think I had pulled um, an army green twill to do the Mitchell trousers. Oh, yeah. And yeah. what ended up happening is that we released the, or were developing and released the Rika trousers, and they were really even more my taste than Mitchell. Yeah. And um, I ended up doing them with this orange top stitching. Yeah. It looks so good. It's very really military, um, but that's kind of yeah, my vibe. Let me hold them up so we can see. Yeah. Well, I'll I'll I'll, I'll we'll put them on and, and show you. Yeah. But um, yeah, I loved the the uh, Rika is really all about the pockets. Yeah. This view, the carpenter so pants, and you're sewing pockets for half a day. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I really love top stitching because yeah. I find it very soothing and I have on my, you know, my show and I just, it's very methodical and the way these came together was like super pleasing. They're very cool girl, I feel. Yeah. I feel very cool in them. I was, uh, wearing clothes, um, like as a teenager in the nineties and, um, so they're <laughs> definitely a throwback. But, um, yeah, I love the way those turned out. I did not end up making a swimsuit. I just, I wanted to spend my time at the pool rather than sewing something That's for the pool. Yeah. And um, so I really got my sojo back at the end of the summer and mm -hmm. so for, focused more on fall sewing. And so I ended up making these lander pants, which are... True bias. True right? bias. Thank you. Yeah. Love the way these came together. It's a totally different construction method than we use at Closet Core. Mm -hmm. So it was new to me. Um, you kind of like sew everything together, like top stitch and everything before you're even trying them on, mm -hmm. which felt bold. Scary. <laughs> um, but they, they came together beautifully. I love the way they fit. And I think it's still pretty warm here in Montreal. Mm -hmm. But as it cools off, I think I'm going to get a lot of wear out of those. And then... Um, just last week, I made this Mile End sweatshirt in, um, I'm not sure if this is the organic fleece, but this just came out at Core Fabrics, and it is so, so soft. soft. It really is. We yeah. keep being oh. like... <laughs> it's so, it's got this like bounce to it yeah. and cushiness. It has a really nice drape. Yeah. Without yeah, being and it too, was so... Like, super easy to sew mm -hmm. and it has like a nice stretch to it yeah. so you kind of just don't have to worry about those seams pulling or whatever and I don't think I've ever made or worn a brown garment in my life <laughs> but I lighten my hair and I'm really like leaning into my more autumn palette and I'm loving it yeah. and I've gotten so many compliments so I have to assume it uh, is working yay but yeah and I'm like excited about all the way these things go together. And so when we get to the plans portion, I'll show you how that all works together. Amazing. Uh, do you want to go next? Yeah, I had a lot. I, I was ambitious this okay. summer. Yeah, you were. Um, I remember I had like a, a match matchy club brunch set. That <laughs> we both did. We both did. I had a Robert's Wood damsel dress. We, yeah, and I said the top. I had, I don't know. <laughs> it was like a couture level ambition. Yeah, yeah it was. Yeah. It was not, like, compared to what I did, mm -hmm. it was not out of this world crazy for me, mm -hmm. but it just, non, not much of it happened. Because I get excited by 
things and then forget I had other ideas. Yeah. I get sidetracked easily. Mm -hmm. But the one thing I did are my pink Jenny. Yeah, you that did I them. did the front fly instead of the side fly. That yeah. was a cool little um, trick. And I actually used the Rika fly and fly instructions because we were developing it at, when I did that. Um, the sad part is, so Judith, who is her sewist extraordinaire, yeah. um, you, I'm sure you know her, she dyes my hair <laughs> and bleach them, and I don't know what we did, but two weeks after I finished those pants that I love so much, <laughs> I partially bleached them while yeah. Judith was bleaching my hair. But I've decided that I worked too hard on it, and I love them, and I'm going to wear them with or without bleach. It's just what's artsy. Uh, and then it was a lot of deadline sewing for me, because I sewed um, these pants for a photo shoot for Core Fabric when yeah. they came out with this... Um, with this custom print, yeah, it was which the playground collection, playground collection, so fun. Um, this was a vintage pattern that I've made. Like I think this was the third time making it. I really like it, and it's a quick sew. And then I had leftovers, so I made this uh, rose cafe bustier top, and with like um, she got some eyelets there, eyelets, hand sewn eyelets. Um, and so they match together, so that was really fun to have a little matchy-matchy set. So it was not the one I planned, but I ended up with a matching set. I yeah, exactly. Summer. That's a win. Um, I also didn't bring it, but I, in deadline sewing, in the same week, I was testing a jacket pattern. So I made a wool jacket pattern in July yeah. in the middle of a heat wave. It was <laughs> not great, but it's going to be beautiful to wear in the fall. Um, and I fell in love with this print. It's so beautiful. It was a dead stock cotton pop, uh, voile, poplin. I'm not sure. I don't remember. But at Core Fabric, obviously. And I saw it and I was like, this is so beautiful. And it would look so beautiful with my new pink hair. So I had to make a vintage dress, like shirt dress out of it. Um, so I did that and it has a matching Matching belt so that I made. I love that dress. It's so um, beautiful. beautiful. I love it too. And finally, my last make of the summer before going It's so in. cute. Okay, so another thing you need to... Well, some of you on Instagram might know, but I started roller skating slash roller dancing this summer. It was so fun. Recommend to anyone who wants to laugh and have fun. Um, and I was like, oh, what could I do to wear when I roller skate? I saw this pattern on Instagram, instantly bought it, <laughs> instantly cut my fabric, like sewed it in a day. I had so much fun. So cute. With leftover fabrics from other projects. Oh so my goodness. It's a great Lo oh, scrap buster. So adorable. It's so and cute. It is a romper, so it's it's oh, short. It's short. It's short. Oh, and it has so cute. pockets. It has yeah. pockets. So it has it everything has you want and it's the yeah. um, it's the Hollyhock Rumper from Studio Sado. We'll put it in the description yeah. as yeah. well. Yeah. Well, I can't um, wait to see it all. But yeah. yeah, this is, I feel so adorable roller skating in this. I can oh. imagine. It's, it's so, so cute. cute. The breeze yeah, the fluttering breeze. the shore. Yeah, I went to roller skate along the river in Verdun, along in, oh. in the city at sunset. On Tuesday, wearing that, and, and I was feeling dreamy. main character energy. That is main character yeah. energy. <laughs> yeah. So that was my summer. I love that. Amazing. Thank you. I'll show you mine. So I did not make a uh, the matchy matchy brunch set that I planned on doing. The so you both were planning on it. We both yeah. were, and, and we were both planning on the um, the Robert Woods Robert Woods dancel dress, but neither of us did it. I cut the pattern pieces and read the instruction, <laughs> and then did not. Did not because I yeah it, it might, might happen. happen it might happen it will happen these are my this is a little this. wrinkly but this is actually from Matchy Matchy Sewing Club it's their bow boxer short 
It's got a little tie at the side. These are very wrinkly. I've been wearing them a ton. Uh, and this is with the core fabrics uh, signature. You can hear it in yeah. You can hear it crinkling. Yeah, some ASMR for so you. So crispy. It's very crispy. I love these. I made this came out of me wanting to make something to match this amazing vest that I knit over the summer, yeah. and it matches perfectly. I'll insert a photo because I'm very proud of all of that. And then I made also with the same fabric but a different color. I made our terrazzo dress which um, I love more than I was expecting to. It's oh, yeah. so beautiful. I made a it looks so good. Too. You did, that. yeah. Yeah. You guys uh, really... I love this dress. It I don't have You to. don't have it. <laughs> yeah. That's my Maybe excuse. Not. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you, can still, you do get quite a bit done. But this is my trousers dress, and I love it. It's so beautiful. I just feel like a floaty, beautiful lady in it. Um, yeah, and is that also in that... And that's also crispy. in the crispy cotton poplin, and yes. it's, it just like floats around me mm. as I walk. It's really that's nice. That's a really neat fabric. And then this this one's a Iconic. fun one. This is my um, eucalyptus jumpsuit from Deer and Doe, and I sewed it for the market collection for core fabrics in this orange linen, cotton is linen. Is this still available? This one is still available. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh. I think it's one of the only of the like veggie prints that yeah. is still available. They went fast. I don't know yeah. why this one didn't sell out because it's, it's so my cute. Favorite. Yeah, me too. <laughs> but you can still get it if you want. Um, so yeah, that is what I sewed. I also sewed some Jenny overalls in the collection, the playground collection. Right. I'm sure I'm missing a few things, but these were the like the main highlights. The hit. Yeah. You also like knit sweaters yeah. too somehow. And socks yeah. and she also doesn't yeah. have kids. Yeah, actually, well, I knit this. Wow. Yeah, I knit this a little bit. I was sure that was ready to wear. It was not. That's so impressive. No, and had you shared this? I don't know if I did, but this is a Jenna. But had I been planning on making this, I'm. I don't know. Is that a new one? No, that's no. I made it in okay. like in February. Yeah, so I must have. Anyways. Yeah. This is my Jenna. It's my color blocked Jenna. So I cute. love it. I've been wearing it a ton. Yeah. 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 And it just. Amazing. I feel like it just goes with everything because I've been really leaning into this like pastel palette. Yeah. As the, the whole office knows. <laughs> okay, a little bit of continuity change here. <laughs> Amy had to. Amy had a hot flash. Yeah. It was a little warm. It's a bit toasty in here. We're currently going through like a mini heat wave in September in Montreal. So I'm also perimenopausal. Yeah. That's there you what go. it is. Let's talk about um, it. So we're getting into plans now. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Good. Because I'm excited. Yeah. Amy's got plans. I got plans. Well, I told you I got my sail Ooh, back. Look at this palette. You know, I mean, oh. like more of more. Right. Aww. I think nice. I'm I'm gearing up for a trip and I'm also totally changing up my closet. And what I've realized is I only want to sew things and no judgment on your bright uh, um feel shady. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it ends out judgmental <laughs> somehow. And I don't mean it that way. It's just for me, I've sewn a lot of things in the past that I was excited about mm. individually. And what my obsession is right now is opening my closet and having it look like a store. Ooh, quite luxury. It's like like one season of a store where everything feels like it goes together. That means that it feels a little repetitive, but I also am like realizing like I just I don't want to make things that don't suit me mm -hmm. or I Absolutely. don't feel like yeah. are going to naturally go together. So I'm really just doubling down on what works. So what do we got? We have, what is this? I'm going to make another pair, the other view of Rika. Oh yeah, the um, trouser. Yeah, so this is the substantial organic cotton broadcloth. And I love the I way love this feels like a drop cloth. Yeah, yeah. I love the texture. I really love it's it. Beautiful. And it's like kind of the, it gets better with a little wrinkle in yeah. it. And like, yeah, so I'm gonna do the cropped um, view of those pants in that. I am going to get, I think I said the Jenna shirt dress. You did, yeah. And I do need that. I do yeah. need, I want a long sleeve yeah. uh, dress to wear to work with boots or whatever. And I'm going to do it. Beautiful. I think in, this is a color I'm really gravitating it's towards really these days. Yeah. And um, yeah, again, the I think drape the drape on that. on that would be really beautiful. And I think I would get a lot to wear out of that. And this is a very special fabric that Heather <laughs> ran to the other side of the office with last she week. She was like, feel this. Oh, yeah. And it is, I wish I could, like, we need feel-a-vision, as yeah. she said. Yeah. Um, 
It looks it's like really like a throw blanket you would buy at Pottery Barn yeah, or something. Yeah, it does actually. But even like more, it's got like the subtle hound's tooth in it. It feels like cashmere, legitimately. And I want to make a pair of. I probably wouldn't wear the top, but I'm definitely going to make the bottom, the bottom of the yeah. Fran pajamas mm -hmm. in this. And I think I will wear those when I'm working from home. Like, just I can imagine putting them on and not taking them off for weeks at Super a time. Super cozy. Um, and I think, like, there's also like a suiting aspect to this. So yeah. I feel like I can be like, it's business casual. Yeah, exactly. Even if I'm just like in an elastic waist pajama bottom. Yeah, because yeah, HR in that? this office is like very strict. Yeah, uh, she's HR. Amy, Amy is HR. <laughs> um, I'm very strict with myself. Yeah, so that's and it. I and I think, that. like, now that my sojo is back, I have uh, I have every confidence I'm going to get that done. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> what have you got? There you go. I have two goals for my winter, fall, fall, winter sewing, and it's sew your stash. Amazing. Because it's a big one. And uh, <laughs> working in a right next to a fabric store that has beautiful fabric is really easy to get distracted yeah. from your stash. So I really want to sew with fabric that I have. Um, and so full disclosure, I might not use all of what I'm showing because I'm going to try to. But um, and then the other one is go through my mending slash uh, modifying pile. Oh, yes. Because yeah yeah I don't, it's, we're all guilty of that <laughs> so these are my like kind of be better goals we'll see how those goes but otherwise um i have a plan to do this 1970s like pleated oh, i love that skirt. and i already like um prepared a pattern i the next step is cutting the fabric and it's uh let's show it closer <laughs> it's um i'm gonna use like a cotton it's black with like white check but they're really like skinny oh. so like i'm going in black yeah my neutral <laughs> a checkered a checkered black. A, checkered, <laughs> a checkered black is my neutral um so i'm gonna do this and i really like the i'm kind of obsessed with that outfit actually with the there's it's a, so cute so it has like a little blouse with a little peter pan color and a little string bow thing um so i'm gonna try to make this by using this uh, oh. pattern i'm just gonna modify the color a little bit and um i'm gonna use actually a while ago when these fabrics came out at core fabric i snatched there was a dead stuck viscose doby with it oh, mm -hmm. nice. this is the custom prints but there was a viscose um that's a uh, designer this dead stuck that's like black with like um terracotta polka yeah. dots and oh, then yeah. like mm -hmm. black on black polka dots oh, there's that like a so polka dot pretty. texture yeah so i snatched a little bit of that when uh it was out uh before it was sold out i mean and so i think i'm gonna use that for the blouse yeah and amazing yeah and then um it's gonna it doesn't seem like fall sewing at all but um, since I'm obsessed with roller skating, I need some roller skating outfits. Yeah. And we have this <laughs> swim amazing. performance. And I want to make, um, there's a pattern for like a one piece. Yeah. Oh, cute. Um, it's the Edgewater oh. Avenue. Oh, yeah. The Ava. The play Ava suit. play suit. And I got the skirt add on. Is it like so, a leotard? Yeah. It's like a, a short, short leotard yeah. with, um, with, like a wrestling singlet. Yes. Basically. Like a wrestling thing and then <laughs> yeah, I'll add a, a little skirt over oh, the shorts. So, so and cute. I saw that and I was like, well, yeah. I mean. Yeah, no brainer. No brainer. Hello. So this doesn't feel like a fall winter, but you know. You'll wear it. I'll yeah. wear it. And I don't own any jeans. I was shocked to see this in the pile. I was like, what's happening? <laughs> Right. Now that you say it, I don't she think I've ever jeans. seen you in a blue jean. I don't have any jeans. I don't own any. And I think it's time. And I really like this shade because I feel like it's a bit of a vintage. It's like a stone wash. What, what yeah. shape are you going to go for? Who knows? It's hard to choose. There's so mm. many. But definitely it's going to be like super high waist because... Yeah. Mm -hmm. The jude jeans are really... 
With the they're, flare. They have stretch, and this one's not a stretch. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah I, I think I want to do maybe something that's not talked about yet. Ah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, Secrets. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. <gasps> so, yeah. I love it. Those are fun. Yeah. I honestly, when I saw this in your pile, I had to look underneath at my pile. <laughs> and I was like, wait, did she steal did she my, my denim? Uh, because what denim are you doing? I will show you. I will show you. Okay. So, got a few things here. Um, I own. Such a good for you. I'm really That's enjoying um, yes. how this color palette looks. It's very mm-hmm. pleasing to me, very primary. Um, so I own two of these three. I wasn't actually, I was like, do I want this? And now I'm like, I really do. I love it. It's so beautiful. But I own this denim and this denim as well. And so I know for sure, I've already got the patterns cut out at home. I know that these two things are happening. But first I'll talk to you about this. This I was like, oh, it would be a really fun, it would be fun to make just like another Jenna. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I want a print. Yeah, just like yeah, a yeah. big, big large scale print. I think that would be fun. Or like that. the dress. Absolutely. Version of Jenna. I think that would be really cute. Super cute. But I would probably realistically get more use out of a shirt and mm-hmm. do like the cropped view uh, because I wear <laughs> yeah, this, this one. This one's wearing out. Yeah, I wear this one all the time. So switch it up a bit. And I've there been really leaning into brights recently. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I've just like found my like dopamine color. And like before it was just pa- it was pastels and now it's like anything goes. So this mm-hmm. I think would be a really fun cropped Jenna. Um, I really like the crop view. This one is like cropped, but it's not one of the views. I just basically took the main view and shortened it along yeah. the length and shorten line. Mm-hmm. But I want to do like the straight across uh, cropped Jenna view. So that is one. And then for this one, I was thinking, I'm kind of torn between what I want to do with these. Mm. I, part of me wants to make Rika in these ones, and I have the pattern cut out at home already. Um, and we made the sample out of this. Oh, denim. that is the one. It's yeah, it's such a good. So good. It's a recycled, uh, recycled denim, and so it's just got these like little pale flecks in it, and so it's just a bit more interesting mm-hmm. than an off white would normally yeah. be, or like a cream. It's really, really got like a nice texture. It's a bit slubby. It's such a nice fabric. So I'm like Rika for these. Or slate, which is mm. the pattern for September, and so which I'm like, the short, like the- no, the longer one. Ooh. I know. Who is she? <laughs> Becoming a skirt girl. Um, so I just really love the shape of. of so classic. It's, it's a beautiful. Pattern. It's a really nice yeah. pattern. Yeah, and it's a really easy one to winterize because yeah. you yeah. throw on some tights exactly. or a higher boot. Which is why I was like, oh, maybe it would make more sense to make slate, which was also one of the. Um, Samples that we made in this denim, and I was like, "No, it works. Because it works. It works. That's for it. the little cowgirl in you. I feel like it's exactly. very Ooh, yeah. 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 yeah, and that would look so cute with the cropped. I know, Jenna. No. I mean, now I'm like, oh, it, ugh, ugh. It really it is a match all of it meant all. to go together. Well, the, and I think that that's what's so. You know, I was saying to someone uh, about sewing in general. And it's just, it's so great to not have to be locked into Mm -hmm. what's happening in stores. Mm -hmm. And like, you know, I'm 45 and I'm like kind of feeling like I'm finding this new style. I'm finding this new color palette for myself and I'm really excited about it. And the fact that I don't have to go and hunt Mm -hmm. and try and put together from what is out there. Because I go out to ready to wear and it's not speaking to me right now. It's for younger or older whatever it's just not for me I feel sometimes and the idea that I can just make exactly what I want and mm-hmm. what I'm envisioning and put it yeah. all together it's just truly the magic it's, of sewing it is, and it's it is. Like, that's why we love it that's why we're all here yeah. it allows us to be truly deeply ourselves and presenting it to the world oh that's so cute. <laughs> That's pretty deep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I so love that. we hope that you too find inspiration in our little uh, ramblings. And <laughs> even if they don't all get made, hopefully there's some ideas in there yeah. that you can get inspired by. Yeah. And if you didn't watch our first video yeah. where we talk about our spring plans, I'll link it here so that you can go and watch that. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.